Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. In Portland, Maine, the newest uniform of the day for female athletes is the high job. Right hand, uh, here you go from the Communist, Communism Broadcasting Service news. Muslim student athletes at one U.S. high school no longer have to be slowed down by worries that their head scars might fall off. Well, what the hell? Why are they wearing the stuff anyway? It's supposed to be one uniform for everybody. During High School in Portland, Maine is providing sports high jobs with the goal of making Muslim girls comfortable and boosting their participation in sports. The lightweight scars put, stay put and are less bulky than other high jobs. Garments that cover hair are worn by many Muslim women to express their faith. We're more confident in them on the field, said junior lacrosse player Fadumu Eden. This one doesn't fall off. No matter what I do, it won't fall off. Tennis co-captains Liva Pierce and Nace Manikunda raised more than $800 online by the sports Sporting high jobs for their Muslim teammates after the school's athletic director learned of the project. Product. They solicited private donations to avoid criticism for using taxpayer funds on religious apparel and ended up with enough to outfit all teams, including lacrosse, soccer, volleyball, softball, ho field hockey, and track. High school is believed to be the first in. United States provide high jobs for Muslim athletes as opposed to students providing their own head scars, said Ibrahim Hooper, spokesman for the Council on American Islamic Relations, which is a terrorist front group, by the way. The move is part of a trend around the world of more Muslim women finding Ways to play sports while wearing hijabs. Hijabs. Some Muslim countries like Saudi Arabia impose severe limitations on women engaging in sports, while cultural sensitivities and family opposition can also pose hurdles. The International Basketball Federation and the International Soccer Organization, FIFA, lifted bans on head coverings in recent years and. I, Mohammed, became first American to compete at Olympics while wearing hijab while she won a, won a bronze medal in fencing in the 2016 Rio Games. I'm going to skip down. Uh, Nike announced last month that they'll begin marketing a sport hijab next year, bringing the product into the mainstream. But Craig doesn't wait, went finding a sport High job manufactured by ASEA, company that raised more than 39000 in November to expand beyond locally selling in Minnesota. ASEA is pre preparing to move manufacturing to New York, keep up with demand, said Fatima Hussein, a Somalia relative who coaches basketball and who co founded the business. Apparel company is named for ASEA, bent. Muslim, a key finger in Islamic history, known for standing up for injustice. I mean, standing up to injustice. Gee, did I have a Freudian slip? Okay. Enough is enough. Uh, now, they're always lecturing us on keeping Christianity out of our public high schools, and it's one thing after another. Christians can't say this, they can't say that, they can't bring Bibles, so on and so forth. But uh, your schools are being Islamicized, and right here's proof. It's trouble, folks, I'm telling you. You can call, you can call me, beg it if you want, I don't care, but, uh, excuse me, they have one standard for Islam, and they have another standard for Christianity. The standard for Islam is, go right ahead. The standard for Christianity is, get out. 
trouble, like you said. Unbelievable. 